blessed love my viewers and subscribers well go on open all doing great open all keeping safe so we're there again with another muta baruka content and this one people is really sad muta baruka share his past some horrible thing that happened to him in the past where police attack him wicked in a mobile at st james the discrimination in the police force against rasta is just too much so people we're gonna stay tuned and listen to muta baruka explaining his horrible past of police brutality and things that he been through when them actually lock him up so me could just play the clip roll it and see what go on but before we do that people want to know do me a favor you see that like button right there click it so we can share the movement to more people and them can join up you know yeah man one team so make we go straight in at the video and listen to Muta Baroka have to say them pass and other, maybe other Rasta I go through the same problem because you know the discrimination is just on another level but I could just check it out and leave your thoughts down in the comment section below so I could go in right now Yes well, That's what you have to tell you, you know you know the first time I go to Mobile from Kingston the first time I go to Mobile I go to jail you know Yes, I go to jail. And the reason why I go to jail is that I walk down the road on Barnett Street and I see a jeep I come down the road, but two rasta stay, you know, barefoot and short pants and laps of fly. The man feel like him should have stopped me. So I say, where you stop me for man? You think so I want like a body man? <laughs> the bad big so right in there. And take me, if I boy who hold me and throw me in the jeep. I say I gotta show you. We till I reach on a on a Barnet Street police station. Yes, so we reach on a Barnet Street police station. Then put me in our cell with about seven man inside there. And for those of you who know them things they stay in. You have one bucket there where you do everything in you know. there. And then them have a place where it look like a a bench, but not really a bench. You can't lay down upon it. Muta Barica talk about a bong. I think that them call it, you know. A bong. I that where them sleep and, and and thing and thing so yeah but you see I move you have to just move lay down one way by your side anyway we in there and apparently a brother who just come in there go lay down upon the the, the the so called bed thing and a bridge you know you see lay down upon it all the while I tell him forget up our fight so the brethren say, me I get up half and nothing, man. The brother take the shit bucket and dose the brother with it, you know. And you know, say, all of in there get piece of the bucket. We fly out of the bucket. And me I say, what is now? So we stand up in there, and we don't know what to do. All of a sudden, we see a policeman come with a big hose and turn the hose into the cell. And starts pull out the cell, you know. This is why prison life is never a nice life. As Amuta Baruka say, you know, things like that happen, then they use, then they properly disinfect the place and, you know, use bleach and them look or something there. Them just spray you out, just like how you that spray out, hug pen. You know, if you don't understand, so. Prison life is never a nice life for I me. Mean, I encourage you to stay on the right path. You see me? Because it's not a nice life. Wash out the cell and beard with everything in the cell there. Without even change with clothes or nothing. That was the first time I go to jail. The second time I go to jail, I had a bridge and I drive to Trenchtown. And the bridge in all that drive, one of them big politicians' son. We turn Rasta. And him have a spliff and the policeman sight the spliff. And him own up to the spliff, but the policeman not follow that. Cause I was two I was two away. Two daughter and two uh, two men, me and a brethren, and two sisters in the in the in the um 
you know, the, 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 the Jeep, the, sorry, the Volkswagen. So the man put you in the van, and you know them open back van where the police them used to sit on the side of the van. The man put me beside him, and him sit on, sit on at the edge. And we are go up the road, and the, the van kind of go over a bump, and I rock back by the police, and the policeman said, where are you trying to push me out of the van? <laughs> He said, we used to go up there. So he carried go down to the police station. I lock her up in there. Same thing again. We in the cell. Me and the bridge were in the cell. And they put the two daughters in the cell. And the man attacked the policeman, come out of the cell, you know, and say, Rasta. And you remember start to sing now. We know the Bob Marley song, three o'clock, roadblock. And I've got to throw away my little herb stock. The man had turned to another cell with it, you know. A pure bad word. We are called out by the, the, the police station. Pure bad word. You see, when we go to the court, the brethren who will have the spliff, the, the judge asked him, So you're guilty or not guilty? The brother said, Well, I'll tell you the truth, you know, that I come to find out because you don't know, bring me here. I come to find out if I'm guilty or not guilty. Anyway, them find him guilty. Never have nothing to do with me now because the brethren own up to it, say him. I mean, I tell you, say, trust me. Horrible. Horrible. Next time again, I go to jail again. I drive come down half a deal, a man to go beyond. Me and I now tell, I now call her name very very well known politician daughter who turned Rasta and me and a bridging in the car with a daughter who come from foreign and she again have a split and when she see the police car she drop the split on the ground and the same thing reach her again the police say my car go down a down, down, um, down town man to go be here see the thing is that people when you come on to the Rasta and the image where society pre Rasta as you know Anything where happen, a Rasta will get the blame for it. You see me? Because the image, you know, the ban, the whole energy is just something that they are against. You know? They are just against it and they are going to try them best to fight we all, no matter what. So we have to keep strong as Rasta. You know, the liberty, we have, to, we have to just believe and just talk to your ancestors to give you strength and knowledge to conquer. Because trust me people, it's a terrible world. It's a terrible, terrible world. Especially being a Rasta, being a man not of the system, you know. Yeah man, once you're an outsider to the system, it's try to crumble you, you know, destroy you. But, I can listen to what I'm to say. Black work because him know say when we go down there, we are going to say I don't know how we won. And you see the daughter, the daughter, when the daughter is pregnant in Rasta, the man them angry daughter, weird, you know, that's why people are cussing her. And it's a lucky thing, say. When them ask her her name, them hear her name, and them realize, say, it's a politician, so daughter. Her mother come down there and go on bad because she's really up in pregnancy. As a matter of fact, the daughter they teach me to drive too. Yeah. So that jail thing there, you know, lovely. Much less people go to prison. I don't never want to step in a prison. The only time I go in a prison is when I go help motivate the, the prisoner them in there. But it's not a lovely place. Really, not a lovely place. Oh. Yeah, people. So now see what Mouta Baruka say about his past, one of his turbulent past story, you know, a thing where, you know, it's not a good experience, you know, prison life is never a good life, you know, but we just have to live and try to stay on the right path, you do a lot of obstacles is there, but we have to try to overcome, you know, our obstacles and and just try to live and live righteous, you know? Yeah, so 
If you want to check out the full video by the way, people, it I go up on the link I go in the description for I never know TV. Big shout out to them, you know. By the way, leave your thoughts and opinion down in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. You know, it's a black power movement. We have to try to gather our allies. So, subscribe to the movement and share it with your friends and family. Same way. Yeah, man. Irie.